being sus, brains up. Does he know I notice? Does he want some? Call my homie being sus, don't get caught. Tell his girl we're just chilling while I taste him. Call my homie. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome, welcome to, to So Rude. Rude. On the go. On the go with the co. So rude honeymoon edition. Yes, baby. It's been sweet Cheers. so far. Salud. Thanks. What are you drinking Sorry. today? Oh. oh. We're drinking. I'm drinking an iced latte with soy milk. Oh, soy milk. Why not oat or almond? They had coconut or soy. Um, oh, I'm not a fan of coconut milk because oh. it's so strong. It like, depends on what, honestly. But instead of the cocoa, I'm with the cocoa. Covo. COVID. Oh, yeah. Dion got COVID, y'all. Oh, We're getting tested right into it. Tested positive two, day, three, two days ago? Three days ago. Um, three days ago. Three days ago. And so I'm on the water today, but thankfully the symptoms have died down today and I feel much better. Thank God. Bless those antibiotics <laughs> and those antibodies. <laughs> Sorry, we missed one week, but you know what? We were we were getting used to the Thailand time, the Thai time. Yeah, for Thai sure. Time. It's been a bit of a journey. We've already yeah. been to Bangkok and Chiang Mai. Now we're in Koh Samui. Yeah, so it's been a week. And we have a lot to tell you. It's crazy. It's only been a week now. Like I'm a little over. What what day are we on? The twelfth. It's the twelfth today. So, so it's been a, it's been twelve days. Thirteen days. Oh, 13 days. Almost two weeks. Of honeymoon because we, like, we're counting the flying day. Yeah, yeah. Well, I definitely count the flying day because, let's get right into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that flight, the first flight was majestic. Yeah. So, let's get right into it from the so, beginning. Did we talk about the booking fiasco? No, I didn't. No, we didn't. Oh, my goodness. So, the day before we're set to leave on our adventure, on our two-month adventure, I get a message to check in online. <laughs> so I'm checking online, checking in online, and uh, I get a message that says, oh, upgrade your flight to first class for $400, something like that. And I'm like, oh, that's great. That's so cheap because before I had checked in, it was $8,000. So I'm like, yeah, I'll definitely do this. Thank you. I love a little first class moment. So I do mine. And, and then you I'm do like, what? You, you do do the fool fool. Yeah, I do mine. And then I try to do Dion's and it doesn't let me. It says error, error, error. And yeah. I'm like, uh. Um. Tragic. And we're like with our besties. We're going to eat. And I'm like. We're with Sin and Liv. If you know, don't know them for anything else. They were in uh, the wedding video and the wedding party. Lineup of beautiful, gorgeous people beside Wearing us. Wearing the green. The greens. Um, but yeah, we were going, we were coming back from eating and I'm like, y'all like, it's not <laughs> letting me. And everyone's like, wait, what? So where's the seating? So I'm like sitting in first class and he's supposed to be sitting like all the I'm way in there. I'm in economy plus. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Not economy plus. Oh my God. And then Dion's like freaking out. Not because I'm in economy plus, obviously, I don't care where I sit. But I was like, wow, that's fun. Start of our honeymoon sitting apart. Yeah, because like, I feel like a lot of fun, like a lot of fun from the flight is like being together mm -hmm. like even if if we're in economy economy plus or first class the point is just sitting together yes. so i was like well like can i cancel mine yes yeah, so i'm trying to move back to me being a sweetheart i'm like no like babe like you have like they were the laying down beds which i you've never experienced that before either right no so it was like you know it was a chance of a lifetime so i was like no baby boy you stay up there like I'll be a gentleman, or if anything, like uh, halfway through the fucking 10 hour flight, we can switch. Um, but Seb was sweet and was like, no, no, I'll change. And I was like, no, no, I won't. So then our friend Olivia was like, I've got a little cheeky idea, y'all. Because after we tried calling and then being no help at all, saying the app is glitching and you have to do it through the app. That's the only way. We're like, girl, what the fuck? Like, yeah, help like, us out. We literally called the airline and they're like, oh, you can only do it online or in person. And we're like, yeah, but online it's not working. And they're like, so it has to be so in too person. bad. You have She's to like, go to the I airport. See the, the first class seats are actually being bought up very quickly we're like ah. she's like there's only two left but if you i can do it for eight thousand dollars and i'm like no i just paid 400 i why would i pay eight thousand so then we have our friend have an inspiring moment and go let's go to the airport yeah and she's I'm like, like let's go let's do it i'm you're like an icon really i'm like you're gonna really want you're gonna do this like y'all are gonna drive to the airport with us right now and they're like absolutely and they did so. and we Got Get you there. friends who are real ones. I know. They were like, yeah, there's no way you can go. You can start this honeymoon separate. And we're like, that's true. I'm like, actually, I don't mind. I'm kidding. <laughs> so we're on the way to the airport. And we're like, 
you know, mentally preparing for the disappointment. It's pretty late, so we're like, they're probably going to have no check-in desks open till 6 a.m., and so this is going to be a bust. But... Bust it was not. No. The girl like, oh, sure thing. Boop, 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 boop. Done. Three <laughs> seconds, It'll be like four $600. Seconds. We're like, yeah, that's fine. That's it was fine. iconic. And we paid it. And then we were on our way back in like less than two hours. Yeah. Like it was like less than an hour to get there, less than an hour to come back. It and was it was great. great. Because when we first got to the checkout, the, the guy was like, oh, go to this guy. And this guy was like, out he of it. Like home of Phobia. Yeah, he was giving rude. Um, so I was like, well, we're not going to get lucky here. But then he went, oh, that's uh, Cedar Simons. It's none of my business. Go to her. And we're like, okay, rude man, bye. <laughs> and then we go to her, and she was amazing. I know. And then we started our journey. So the first flight was amazing. Literally, like, we maybe... K- we, we maybe L- kiki Yeah, M- we kiki for 45 minutes. Um, like, oh, look at this. And then we were, we were out like a light. Yeah, I slept I like a baby. I like waited for the food because I always like the one to eat the plain food and then fall asleep because mm-hmm. I hate falling asleep and then waking up for the food. Or my biggest fear is that I fall asleep and then they don't wake you up for the food and then it's like eight hours in the flight and you're like starving and they won't <laughs> bring it to you or something. So I like waited I to missed eat. my meal <laughs> and then I fell asleep. But KLM Airlines, y'all, they treat you like family. Yeah, they gave. They give those cute little houses. Well, no. First of all, this guy. As soon as we said that, the the guy was like, "Oh, are you guys? I don't know how we came up, but and I was like, yeah, it's our honeymoon.'" And he's like, "Oh, you should have told us beforehand." I'm like, "And then I know there was a little section I could <laughs> write it down in." Like, by <laughs> the way, it's our honeymoon. <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, I didn't know where to put it." And then, like mid flight, he comes over with a little mug. Aww. A glass porcelain mug so cute. that they give the first class people like to eat from. And he wrote with a Sharpie the flight number and the date. Can we have it still. And like it was like from Toronto to Amsterdam. I was like, oh, thank and you. And it was wild because then they give you these little houses that are like um, uh, rep, like mini miniature versions of houses that are actually in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Um, and with that came a little card and the card said that it was like their 50th or 150th i don't know like every year year like every year they do one but the day like their anniversary of this flight of this airline was october 7th which Which is is our our wedding wedding day day. that's crazy because yeah i first see the guy that works at the airplane coming down with a little tray of like what looks like houses but my eyesight is not that good and I thought it was just like little cardboard houses with chocolate inside. Yeah, or something. I thought they were like little Harry Potter chocolate frogs. Yeah, like something inside. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some chocolate. And then he comes close, and they're like porcelain houses. And I'm like, is he selling them or what? And he's like, <laughs> which one do you want? And I'm like, it was this so cool. One? <laughs> and he's like, okay, and Good he choice. leaves. I'm like, <sighs> they were free. They give. Free porcelain houses to everyone. Well, first class. Yeah. Well, yeah. To everyone in first class. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I As guess they should. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm gonna get like, my money's the, worth. We got the upgrade deal, but so were we thinking some people in the first class flight paid the eight thousand? Yeah, I think. Well, like I don't know how much the flight was originally first class, but it does change you. Yeah. Because then afterwards we had the long flight that was fourteen hours or thirteen hours. Twelve. 12 hours from Amsterdam to Bangkok. Was it 13? Maybe 13. 13. 13. But that one wasn't in first class. And I feel like it was... It was like you were flying on a cloud and then somebody poked it. And we just fell down into a dark hole. (laughs) I mean, I was still pretty thankful that we had like the area where there's no seat in front of you. Yeah, I got us like the first row. So After we had so much leg room. Class. <laughs> so we had a lot of leg room, at least the butt. Yeah, that was like, I mean, leg room is all I need, so it was great. The seats were, no, it wasn't as it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I feel like it would have been, it would have felt worse if we did like not the front row because you don't have that space for your legs. Mm. But I wish I took the melatonin because for the first flight I slept through. Oh a ball, yeah, me too. So I woke up and I was like, oh. 
okay, like, um, there's 10 minutes left on this 10 hour flight. That was way easier than I expected. Well, because it was like nine hours. Right. And I was on like a little yeah, bit. It, it felt like one hour. Yeah, it was crazy. But then the second flight, second. like, I just feel like the second flight was, um, treacherous because we slept. I didn't sleep like I woke up maybe three hours into the flight and at that point I'm in my head like okay there's gonna be an hour left I check my watch there's 10 hours left I'm like well, shit <laughs> and then you fall asleep I've, again I've and you woke up and you're like how much longer and I'm like six hours because <laughs> I slept for the first six hours kind of like going like this <laughs> back on and on and on and then it was I woke up and I'm like six hours and I just couldn't sleep for the next six hours and i watched movies which i never do in planes i really can't remember what i watched though no you didn't because we were gonna watch something and then you wiped my tv with that little alcohol wipe of yours (laughs) and then i was trying to use my tv but because it had alcohol all over it it kept glitching like this that's what i watched i was watching i was watching um harry potter off of your screen now you were watching tangled yes that too but um, I was watching it without the audio because it had subtitles. Yeah. I was like, do you want a headphone? You're like, no. I'm like, okay. I was like, I can hear mothers know best even without the headphones. Mother knows best. Vocal. But then we finally landed. What was your first impression of Bangkok? Oh, I hated it at first because <gasps> I was like, I was jet lagged. Oh, I was over you were it. jet lagged. I was, I was a lot of things. Well, yeah, because we landed at like... 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. And we're waiting for our hotel to check in. So we're like carrying our bags around this mall. And I was like overheating. I was not ready for the heat. Holy shit. And yeah, that was awful. But then once we checked into our hotel, I was great. Because uh, we got to the hotel and they're like, usually we have the rooms ready at 2 p.m. And I'm like, okay, so she's going to say we can go in right now. And she's like, so I'll and, see you guys at 2. Or and three. we're like, <laughs> So we were, have like our backpacks that are heavy as hell, and we're walking yeah. to through a mall. It feels like I, we haven't slept in like seven hours, nine hours. We're like, what's going on? Do you say we haven't slept in nine hours? Because it was six hours, and plus the hour of customs, then like uh, okay, yeah, an yeah. hour of like getting to the right hotel. So it was a long. Oh my god! But we loved how the like. Oh, was that to the other place? I don't remember. But it was cool how when you like um, in, are in like the Bangkok airport, how they do your security check after you get in, just for like your gates. So oh, it's yeah, like all the security the checks out. were divided. Yeah. So smart. And we got. Um, so we were in Bangkok um, for and two then, nights. Yeah, and we got our first Thai massage, which was amazing. Okay, yeah, that was great. I'm so after addict. the meltdown, we're still waiting for our hotel room, and I'm like, "Sup." I see a massage place. I think I need it. Couples room. I know. It was, and they had the hole, the hole. I love the hole where you put your head. Because <coughs> a lot of the massages here on the beach, like they don't have the hole for your head and then your neck hurts. Yeah, we just got one at the beach and my neck was like, no, my jaw. Because I was yeah, like this. I hate that. And she was like. Because <coughs> like, <coughs> it's, so, it's so bad for your alignment when they don't have the hole. Yeah. <laughs> the hole. <laughs> Um, I really like Bangkok. Like, I feel like once I was showered and rested, yeah, and I actually got to see it. I was like, it's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. My first impression was beautiful. It gives me Mexico vibes. So that like, like the, the highways streets and, the street, and everything, yeah. except for the public transportation, which it made me wet. Oh my god! Like the subways were so it. clean. The sky train was so fucking cool. So easy to like mm-hmm. understand. Like we were taking the subway the first day. Yeah, the sky train too. So beautiful. I was like, wow. And it was so cool, the little token they give you. Yeah, they give you a little token to go in and out. You just like click where you're going and it gives you a token and it's like not ridiculously priced like Canada. It was magical. Yeah, I was just thinking like Toronto could never. They should, but they couldn't. They should and with all their construction, they must. They must. But they don't. Because I feel like for a city such as busy as Toronto, it makes no sense that the public transit is so bad. I know. And it's it's like... You really don't enjoy the city because the traffic is always bad. Yeah, because you can't get from point A to point B inside of the city without having to take a car Mm -hmm. because it's such a big city. Whereas in Bangkok, I feel like, is Bangkok a big city? Um, Bangkok is huge. Yeah, it's she's huge. (laughs) And uh, you can get anywhere just from public transportation. And it's wild how fast it is. I loved it. Yeah, because Canada would be like, 
oh, this bus goes to here. Oh, but if you want to go to like Lakeshore, <laughs> you're walking. It's like, what? Yeah, you have to like, or like they have the, what are they called? Street cars. Which are fucking stupid. But the street cars are stupid because they just make the traffic worse. They need to do a sky lane. They need to do the, the walking the above the road walkways. Oh, yeah. Bangkok, that was so sick. Yeah, they had like sidewalks, like second floor sidewalks. And all it opens around. up the economy so much because yeah. it's so accessible. And in those walkways, there's shops, and all of a sudden you're in this mall, and all of a sudden you're in this mall. Yeah, it's like, yeah it connects such like so cool many businesses of, yeah. that you would never see because you're like driving. Yeah. And, but it just makes it walkable. And in Toronto, you're like, I gotta get here and I, I can't. <laughs> I can't enjoy the journey and I can't make any stops because it's going to take me twice as long. So it just like demotes the like economic function. And I feel like in Toronto they could make it to in a way that's like like still above and then have it like maybe like in the winter it closes down with glass or something. Yeah. So it's not freezing cold cuz like they have the thing that's like underground. But that just feels depressing. No. And like, like also people feels- wouldn't care if it was open and it was a big hole because you, at, like right now you have to fucking journey out in the snow. Yeah. So if you, if it was above walkways and it was windy, at least like it's not. They as should bad. hire us as engineers for Toronto rebranding city slightness. The mayors of Toronto come through, <laughs> gayers. But then I also really liked our little tuk tuk mm-hmm. adventure. Oh my god! We, this one tuk tuk driver reversed all the way down the road to get us back to our hotel. It was hilarious. Oh my god! He, we were like, he was like, "What are driving rules?" <laughs> and the other and I were like, "Because uh, <laughs> he stopped in the middle of nowhere, and he's like here, and we're like, <laughs> nope. no, no." <laughs> and then like random people started walking towards, like talking to him, and we're like. And we were in the tuk-tuk on the uh, highway. That was cool. Yeah. My hair was, my wig was gone. And then one day we wanted to do this boat cruise. Well, we didn't, I don't even know how we decided to do that. We saw like a boat with music and then five minutes later, Seb had bought the ticket. No, because we saw it the night before. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's like that in its buffet. Do you like, and it takes you like around like the, la- the is it a lake or river? River. So, yeah. And then you can see like all the temples at night, like lit, light up, lit up. It sounded cool. I said but cool. they did not specify very well where the pier was. Seb and I were amazing racing to find it. Yeah. And honestly, like, by the end, we couldn't walk. We were so sweaty, and we decided to wear, like, our nice shoes. Which were flat. Which were, like, our flat. So three days after, so my much. toe was still recovering. Like, yeah. I, this, the big bone on my toe, like, felt dislocated for a hot minute. But if you ever come to Thailand, go to the beaches and get the Thai foot massage. I know. It and is the Thai the only back one. massage. I feel like I need to get that one tomorrow. It's the only one. Like, somehow, some way, it heals more than any massage I've ever had in my life before. Because, yeah, like, we, I just convinced Dion to do that thing. <laughs> Oh my god! It's like an. So I've done banana boats, and Seb was like, "It's like the banana boat with it's more of like a private, a raft kind of thing." It's like a little mattress. Like imagine a mattress, and then you can hold on to it, and then it just it's get gets pulled by a jet ski. Which I like so much better than banana boat because banana boat you can't hold on. Like if you hold on, you're ripping out. You're ripping out your shoulder blade. Yeah. Well, like this one was kind of like that. No, like like. Like yeah, because the guy fucking went insane. Well, yeah, but, but, but I don't you remember can still hold on it hurting that much. Because I was about like it's like pulled by the jet ski, and you're like this, and you're like, <laughs> and I'm doing that, but and Seb's I, doing this. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, and literally slamming his fucking legs into me. <laughs> Like, literally, I looked over and I was like, that's some good sex you're having. Oh, no. Like, you don't understand. I was like... <laughs> and I could but I could only see when I, like, peeped to step because if I look forward, so much splashing water, I'm like, bitch, I can't see shit. Because, like, at first I was being, like, holding on tight and I had my body like this. But I literally felt like I was, like, even if I was like this, I went like this. And I fell on my tailbone. Ooh. And I was like, oh, and I was like, how are you doing it? So then I was trying different positions to see what would work for it so there would be no pain. Oh, I was. But I was flying off and I was like, <laughs> I couldn't stop. I guess maybe because you're heavier or something. So and strong. Like, 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 I was f- afraid for my life. So I was holding on with every 
ounce of muscle. But like, do you think you were like making like this then? So that's why I was like, kept oh, going maybe off of it because I was like, yeah, you were flying in the air a lot, so much, and my whole body hurts so much. And so, like, I I said many times, like, what well, I have COVID, and I was like, I don't want to do it. Like, I'm not in the energy, and like, I I my one of my um something I don't really vibe with is like being in large bodies of water. Like so, when we Which did the, when we did the banana boat, I was like, ah, like get me back on the banana boat once you fall off. So Seb was like, okay, you don't fall off, you don't fall off. So I'm holding on for dear life. But like I knew that you do fall off. But we didn't. No, I know because we were holding really tight because I was scared that if I fell off. But Seb looks at me and goes, I'm confessing my sin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he's like, happy healthy sin, happy healthy sin. <laughs> I kept manifesting because I really thought I was going to crash my skull and die or something. And I watched, ba- I day. bear witness to the other people who went before us to see if like it was possible <laughs> to hold on without falling off. And I was like, oh, no one's falling off. Okay, I will do it. You don't fall off. But... <laughs> I also noticed that the other people just went back and forth in straight lines. Yeah, this guy was like doing swirls and looking back. Literally, he was waiting for us to fall. And I'm like, he was trying his best. He was like, how the fuck are these guys not falling? (laughs) Oh, my whole upper body hurt so much because I was holding so tight. I was like, "Ah!" whipping donuts. We're like, "Ah!" and then every time we're like, please go back. He just kept doing more donuts. We're like, "Ah!" (laughs) and I was waiting. I don't know. And then I, that's why I said let's get a massage, but I didn't get the Thai massage, so there's still kind of pain. So I think tomorrow we should try the Thai massage. Okay. To realign my whole body. And by we, you mean you, because I don't like a hard massage. Yeah. Today's was great for me. True. I, yeah, felt, I, I know our massage is great when I when I start to fear if I'm gonna fart. Oh, because you're so relaxed. We're, so let's start. Let's, let's go back you. to Bangkok. Bangkok. So <laughs> Bangkok. Anything else besides the amazing race? Where so we ended up in that really cute <sighs> market. We ate some delicious food. <sighs> We did a lot of temples, which were so gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Like the detail in all of them. Magical. Wow. And then Dion and I realized oh. that a lot of the Buddhi- Buddhist... Uh, mindset. Mindset. Like, um, we always do every ideals. day without, Yeah, we... Ideals. We do that every day mm. without even knowing. Yeah, he was teaching us how to like uh, be mindful, meditation... There are different types of meditation, and we were like, oh, this is very much like what we do mostly since the pandemic. I think Seb and I really got into those sort of things. Yeah, like like knowing that nothing is, everything is temporary. Being really grateful in the moment, staying present, focusing on your breathing. And they had, because we were, we were always saying, happy, healthy, safe. But he was saying, they had a saying that was like, I don't remember what it was, but it was like abundance. Uh-huh. And how there's something I was like, oh my god, that's what they always say. It was beautiful. I loved just I being loved. in the temples. I thought that because I'm not very religious, so I thought I wouldn't really vibe with the temples. I thought it would be like something that makes me feel uncomfortable, like when I go into churches sometimes and um, Western culture. But I really um, felt like I'm, like you said, like a spiritual presence. I felt like a strong uplifting. So it was cool looking up at all the giant Buddhas and really feeling that energy. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, I just loved all the detail. Like, I couldn't believe that it was all like handmade. Like, we were in one of them, and I was like, oh my god, I love this wallpaper. And he was like, <laughs> I go hand painted. And I'm like, um, I'm pissed <laughs> wallpaper. We spent a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, that's not true. Me, not me, but yeah, like, like literally, you could just see that the craftsmanship, the the hard work and Seb's like ooh it was a small paper from Ikea <laughs> it was so gorgeous it was I loved it and I love how they had like the red <clears throat> carpets and it was like that had its own meaning as well and like he was saying how like when you stare at the red carpet and it washes over you that's when you know the meditation has like fully taken effect so really just like cool things like that I loved it it was also cool to see like um just like feeling welcome as queer people because I wasn't sure how that would be so I that know. was nice. Oh, it was like we were even walking, and then like these monks and the student monks. What are they called? Yeah, the um, novice. Novice. They were like, "Oh, can we take a photo with you guys?" And we're like, "Oh, sure." Yeah, that was we're so like, cool. <laughs> uh, but the, yeah, it was so nice, like seeing everything and seeing the culture. I really liked it. Then I recommend it. If you all come to Bangkok, she's over to Chiang Mai. Yeah, then we were took a little short flight. It was just an hour, Ugh. which felt like twenty minutes after that longest flight yeah. <laughs> to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is like a smaller town on the north of Thailand, 
And I loved it. It's freaking incredible. Like, like the people, the vibe, everything was just like such good vibes. And the food was insanely immaculate. It was so <sighs> walkable. Like it was like very like small town vibes. Mm-hmm. And we got there, and the first night we're just walking around. It's like nighttime, and I'm like, oh, I heard about this cool drag show mm-hmm. that happens in Chiang Mai. We should go. So we went to this club. <coughs> <laughs> first, I first went to the wrong bar. Yeah, I went to the wrong bar. But then even like there, like every street had just like so many markets, and every like corner you went down was a new thing to like and experience. It, it was like late, and everything was open. Mm-hmm. Everything, everything. You could and you could get a Thai massage at two a.m. Yeah, we got so this uh, bar that I thought that drag club was, and they go hi, free shots, and we're like, oh, if only I was drinking. We weren't drinking alcohol. Well, we're still not drinking alcohol, but like. Yeah, I never thought I'd say no to a free shot, but that night I did. Yeah, they brought them over, and I was just like, and I I know it's a bit rude to not um, take something that's been offered for free, but I I'm not into it right now. Yeah, um, but it was really cool the drag show because Seb and I didn't really know what to expect, and it was the best drag show we've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, because then we got to the actual place, and it was free entry, and they're like, "Yeah, you just have to get two drinks each." So we bought virgin so we mojito. Got, uh, yeah, virgin mojito, which is is it like a lemonade with mint? Yeah. They're like, <laughs> okay, so lemonade with mint. Uh, <laughs> they're like, so we'll put vodka anyway. We got, we got no. a virgin mojitos, and they gave us like front row seating too. Yeah, we're we're sitting all the way. Like I'm sitting on the back on a speaker, and so I'm standing up beside me, and then the girl comes up to us, and she's like, "Um, yeah, would you guys like front row?" And we're like, "Yes." And it was amazing. It was beautiful. Like I've never experienced drag like at the level of like production. Yeah, and the character development. Like because the place wasn't oh. big. It was probably like twice as big as this hotel room. But it was packed. It was packed. The stage, like each each drag queen, had like backup dancers. They would like run and out to the audience, make it really like integrated. And the performant. outfits were like oh, so huge cool. camp. And the there way that props. they studied the characters, like this one girl did... Um, what? Celine Dion? No. No. Jennifer Hudson? No. <laughs> uh, <coughs> is, it, is it the one who sings I Will Always Love You? Yeah. Uh, and I was it that? But anyway, so like the way that she did the mannerisms was so spot on. It was like a like a live performance that she was up singing to. So there was like breaks where she would like talk and laugh, and every single moment was like so good. Hey, it was crazy. <laughs> and then one girl like got there was on, Ariana Grande. There was Nikki. We had Miss Jessie, Jessie J. J. Like it was so cool because it was like first Ariana Grande did, did a number, and you're like, oh my god, yes. Then Jesse J did a number. Yeah. And you're like, yes. And then, Nikki, and then Nicki Minaj did a number. You're and like, then they yes. all joined forces and for then, Bang Bang. Bang Bang starts and you're like, oh my God, I see what they did there. They were <laughs> building it up. Yeah. And the trio. This one girl comes up, well, this one drag queen comes up to Seb and touches his face and then she walks away and Seb's like, oh, her hands were really wet. It turns out she was wearing gasoline gloves because oh, then she yeah. goes up on the bar and lights a fucking fire. She's holding fire in her hand. Yeah, there's fire like... <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, am I going to be set on fire? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, safe. your pores are full of gasoline. <laughs> but that was so good. I've never seen a queen on fire. It's so freaking cool. Amazing. And then like, we got a photo of the Ariana queen. Like the Just the production of each number was so good. It's so insane. Like... Shang Mai is where it's at, y'all. It really hit. It really hit. And we're going to get into more of our Shang Mai trip into the next pod because we have to go in a second. <laughs> but I just wanted to touch on the fact that I just um, released the album art and announced the title of my new album. Oh, the new album. My debut album, self produced. I spent two years, y'all already know about it. Um, doing it all. I wrote it all myself, recorded it all myself, produced it all myself, mixed it all myself. And then I ended up hiring a master engineer to master it, which if you don't know what that means, look it up. Literally 13 tracks that have my heart and soul. It's called The Mess of It All. Oh. The Mess of It All, baby. The gag of it all. Oh, we actually did the photo shoot for the album cover in, in Chiang, Chiang Mai. Mai. Yes, in the hotel. We stayed at the Marriott. It was great. <laughs> the pool was really cute. The pool was gorgeous. So I was like, okay, wait one second. Um, I put on like all these layers of glitter makeup. I had the, that idea. I just wanted like really glowy, ethereal looking skin. 
And then we like tried all these things, and then Seb was like, "What if you lay there?" And I was like, "Oh my god, I was thinking the same thing." Yeah, because at first we were gonna use the sky, but the sky wasn't giving. It was kind of like loud, cloudy, yeah. so you couldn't really see anything. It wasn't giving blow. And huh? then yeah, I saw the tiles, and I was like, "Oh, those are cute tiles." And then you were like, "I was thinking that, tiles, I didn't and I was like, you would what want if that? you lie down there?" And then I'm like vibing, doing what Seb says, and then he's. Like putting flowers beside me, which I didn't even know you were doing, and then oh, because yeah, you were perfect. there and then they were just floating there, and I was like, oh, that kind of works. So I'm like, let me arrange them a little. It's genius. Happy coincidence, happiness. So you can check that out on Instagram. The full track list will be revealed shortly on my socials as well. Give it a um, like, give it a share, and please go pre-save. It really does help me out. It's free to pre-save. You can do it on Spotify. Pre-order on other uh, music platforms will be available June seventh. The album drops June fourteenth, twenty twenty four for. Pride Month, but it's um, it's not like a Pride album. It's just an album. And I happen to be queer, so oh I was like, goodness. why not in Pride Month? And honest to God, like it is so worth the pre-save, and it really does help me out as an independent artist. It takes no time at all, so go do it. The link will be below in my hype link. And uh, yeah, I really do appreciate it. I think these songs will... I hope these songs help you feel seen the way that they really did therapize for me i know therapeutics the therapeutics we love we love um also what's your favorite ttpd song right now oh my god that's hard oh yeah because taylor started performing them on the era yeah. so well the levitating she, oh my god yeah she's performing literally my favorites like who's afraid of little old me but daddy i love him i can do it with a broken heart down bad those are my top four <clears throat> i'm holding up for a uh, florence I know, Guest I think she'll do Florida day. in Florida with Florence. Imagine! <laughs> but my favorite right now, well, like, after seeing the performances, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me? Just like, it's just so good. And the way she performs it, it's so good. <sighs> I love. I love. Because, like, you see the imagery in your mind through that song so well, and you really do see her, like, levitating. So when she brought that yeah. to life in the concert, it's with a little so room cool. she's like, mm-hmm. so because I was wondering, I was like, how is she gonna do it? Like I somehow knew she was gonna perform that one because she has to. Yeah, like that's such a Taylor Swift song. Yeah. Like uh, just, it is the Taylor Swift song. It's great. Like listening to that song in the gym makes you the only one. Yeah, when you were singing it. <laughs> no, and then I can do it with. What a do you mean heart. when I was singing it? You heard me? I thought you had your headphones on. Yeah, huh? I could still hear you. Oh. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> I can do it with our broken heart is so good too, and you can see like part of the dance moves that sh- they have with the dancers and everything are dance moves that she does in other songs of the era store. So it's kind of like she's performing the era store while performing that. Oh. One. It's like such a good mastermind move. Oh, yeah, literally, she is the mastermind. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I think that's up for time. Yeah, we have to go to a reservation. We have, but next week the podcast will be longer. <laughs> Mm-hmm. With all the details of the rest of Chiang Mai and the rest of Koh Samui. It'll be lots of cool things because the Oh, we have to tell you how we got scammed doing our laundry, but that's for next week. Oh, we can just drop that right now. Let's do okay. it. Okay, Dion, <laughs> <laughs> we get back from this excursion where we were like swimming with elephants, hiking in a waterfall, like doing it all. So a long it was, day. The clothes were dirty and we were like, oh, we have to do laundry before we leave tomorrow. <laughs> and we're like and I'm like I just can't and I'm like, okay. I can't move so I'm we're like, gonna have to do the hotel laundry no like Dan if we go outside we can probably find an express laundry place that will do it like for a good price mm-hmm. and he's like no let's just do the hotel one and I'm like okay like here's a list of like what they charge let me know if that's good and, and then I was over life so I they call they're like he didn't even see the price list <laughs> yeah I didn't look I'm like they call, they're like, it's going to be a 50% extra charge because you want to express. I'm like, oh, yeah, we're talking bats here. Monopoly money. Okay, sounds great. Because everything, like, it's, it's everything affordable. is like, oh, it's 5,000 bats. But if you do the, tra- the like, 1,000 bats is like $30. Yeah. So if you do- Like, we literally did our laundry in, like, a local launder, and it was like $13. Yeah, so idiot. we were like, well, like, I knew that it was going to be different from the hotel, but he did I know, I knew, but realized. I was, like, exhausted, and I was like, okay, maybe, like, 50 bucks. <laughs> No, it was eight thousand five hundred baht, which was three hundred three hundred and thirty for laundry, and then for they, two kilograms. They call and say the price, and he was like, "What?" I'm like, <laughs> "I'm literally like my yeah, night was ruined." I told you. I was like, "I cannot believe I just spent three hundred dollars on laundry. I need to go touch <gasps> grass immediately." 
I need to go, like, pray for my sins. Yeah. <laughs> and I felt really boo boo the Now we know. We do. We learned the lesson. <laughs> well, shout out to our demonetized besties <laughs> over on patreon.com. We love you, demonetized besties. That's where you can go to get all full video and audio episodes of this podcast from seasons one two and three you can also check us out on all podcast platforms go give us five stars because it really does help us out shout out to the rainbow clown besties we love you bestie hey and last but not least to the sebastian collectors we love you man hey manny what's good also i'm posting i'm gonna be posting a lot of our thailand and trip photos on patreon so y'all can see them Uh uh-huh the honeymoon vlogs will be starting on our channels very soon we have uh, a lot of that content already on TikTok. Go follow us there. Check us out on Snapchat. Snapchat. We've been Snapchatting. Yeah. What's our Snapchat? Seb and Dion. Seb and Dion. Yeah. Okay. See you in the Love next one. Love you all. Bye. Bye.